Here we're going to see that by knowing the solubility rules, we can actually come up with some pretty good ideas about what we think was going to happen with a certain reaction. And I forgot an N again. I do that sometimes, forget the letter N. I don't know why, but there we go. What will happen with this reaction based on the solubility rules? And if you don't remember them, go back to video 18, and there we have the whole board full of these rules. So here we have potassium phosphate and calcium nitrate in an aqueous solution. So what will happen? Well, first of all, potass uh, potassium phosphate is soluble um, because normally phosphate is not soluble, but since it's paired together with an alkali metal, it will be uh, soluble, so those will split up. And calcium nitrate in aqueous solution, that is always going to be, uh, any nitrate compound tends to be soluble, so both of those will, will break apart into their separate ions. So we're going to end up with the potassium ion, there's going to be three of those, uh, we're going to end up with the phosphate ion, and that's a 3 minus, and those are all in aqueous solution, so I might as well put that in there, aqueous solution, all right, and then we have the calcium ion, so plus the calcium ion, that's going to be a 2 plus, that's an aqueous solution, and then we're going to end up with the nitrate ion, and there's going to be two of those, and O3 minus, and that's also in an aqueous solution. So the first thing that's going to happen is both of those are soluble in aqueous solution, and so they will go ahead and break apart into their individual ions. But then you take a look. You know that the phosphate ion, in general, unless it's paired up with an ammonium or unless it's paired up with an alkali, earth, an alkali metal, it tends to be not soluble. So notice you have a phosphate ion here, and you have a calcium ion, ion there, which is an alkaline earth metal, and those two combined are not soluble, so what's going to happen is those are going to combine together and precipitate out of the solution, become a precipitate. The potassium and the nitrate ion, they will remain like that in solution. So we can just simply know that by knowing the solubility rules, realizing that the phosphate ion, when it can be paired up with an alkaline earth metal like calcium, is going to come back together and form a precipitate. So then the next result is when we take those, th those we take the potassium ion, so we have plus aqueous solution, uh, plus the phosphate ion in aqueous solution, uh, plus the calcium ion in an aqueous solution, plus the nitrate ion, NO3 minus in an aqueous solution. We'll figure out how many of those that we need. So what's going to happen is phosphate and calcium are going to combine together. So we're going to need three of these and two of those. So that's uh, calcium three, and then the phosphate ion, PO4. Uh, that's going to be, uh, we're going to need, let's see, two of those, right? All right, so that we're balanced. So if we need three calciums, we'll put a three in front. We need two phosphate ions, we'll put two of those. And then we have what we call the two spect spectator ions in this reaction. The potassium will just remain in solution, and the nitrate ion will just remain in solution and will not react at all, will not be involved in the reaction. So we still have, oh, this is, yeah, that's a precipitate. That's not going to be a solid. And then we have the potassium ion, which is now going to be an aqueous solution, plus we'll have the nitrate ion, NO3 minus, in the aqueous solution, and those are not going to do anything at all. So, again, first of all, we go through the first two right here. We know that potassium phosphate, they are, that is soluble because of the alkali metal here, potassium mixed with phosphate, otherwise it would not be, so there they'll break apart. We have the calcium nitrate ion, they'll break apart into their ions. And so we'll have, because any nitrate compound typically tends to be soluble, but then phosphate combined with calcium, we note that that's not going to be soluble because calcium is an alkaline earth metal mixed with, when it's paired up with phosphate, they'll go ahead and, and become a precipitate. So then we know that they'll precipitate out like this as a solid, but the potassium and the nitrate ion will remain in solution because they don't, they, they readily dissolve in most any circumstance. And so, based upon the rules, we know that this is what's going to happen with this reaction.